In this tutorial, we're going to go over backgrounds and preset scenes. So let's get started. I'm currently in the Backgrounds tab, and I'm going to select the bus stop. I'm going to drag it into the main area, and you'll notice that a brown bar appears in the timeline. It is labeled Bus Stop, and if we hit Play, you'll see the bus stop animate in and out. If you right click on the bar, you'll get the background settings menu where you can adjust the entrance and exit effect by turning it on or off depending on what you'd like. One reason why you might want to turn off your exit and entrance effects would be if you have transitions between your scenes. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in just a moment. For example, let's add another scene with a different background. Let's find the airport and select it and place it in our screen. And I now have the bar representing the airport down here. If we click preview, you'll notice between the two scenes, it goes to black. If you don't like that, or if you add a transition between the scenes and don't like the fact that it goes black and then has the transition, you can adjust it. So let's do that. Let's go to scene one and right click and we're going to turn off the exit effect and then we're going to go to scene two, right click and we're going to turn off the entrance effect. So now if we hit preview, it's just how we want it. We don't have black in between the transition. Once you have your scene, you can add objects and characters to it. And when you adjust the object or character's duration, the background is adjusted as well. Okay, so now let's go to presets. We're going to add a new scene. We're going to click on the Scenes tab. And these are all pre-created scenes. They have backgrounds, people, and props. So let's add one to take a look at how it works. So I've selected the circus. There's our background with a character and some props. It works just like the regular background. You can right click on the bar and change your entrance and exit effects if desired. And you can add objects and characters as needed. You can also move your characters around within the scene and customize it however you'd like. And that's it for backgrounds and scenes. Thank you for watching!